from China, Bao Yixin and Zhong Yixian. Led out by the Japanese pair, the number three seeds Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kakiwa against the unseeded combination of Bao Yixin and Song Xiansin. Now the Japanese flags are waving. How close we were to an all Japanese semi uh, semi final late yesterday evening. And Chinese youngsters had to come from behind, had to save two match points before they won through in three thrilling games against Matsuo and NATO. <laughs> Uh, the crowd, a seething mass of Japanese flags waving as their players were introduced. Bao Sin and Sean Sian Sin. So the introductions complete. And could this pair, Fuji and Kakiwa, become a Japan, Japan's first ever winners of a title at the Japan Open? Thirtieth staging of this particular tournament. Wouldn't it be fitting if they could come through and win the title? Reka Kikiwa, there she is, 22 years of age, and Mizuki Fuji, a year old at the age of 23. They're down one place actually in the world rankings, down to four. Sin, and there's Xiong Xian Sin. For their confirmation that they're down to number four in the world ranking, but still the number three seeds. First ever semi final for them here at the Japan Open. Three times they've been in the last 16, that's the second round in the last year. So this better than they've ever done before at their home tournament. 30 and 12, their win-loss record for the year. Winners of the German, a couple of finals as well, the All England and the Indian. So they've been in two Super Series finals this year, but haven't won a title. And look at what an effort it's been to get through to the semi-final stage here today. In the second round against the Indonesians, they were 9-14 down in that deciding game before coming back 21-18 in an hour and 16 minutes and in the quarterfinal against the number seven seeds Hart and Kim once again down in the deciding game but came back eventually obviously to win it so the Chinese players unseeded world ranking of 90 now do not be fooled by that because as you can see from their career win-loss record and their win-loss record for you for this year is exactly the same they've only started playing together only played two previous tournaments and there you can see that huge uh, quarter-final yesterday, an hour and 25 minutes. They were 18-20 down in that second game before winning it 22-20, saving those two match points and winning the decider 21-19. Had everybody here absolutely on the edge of their seats.
So as far as Bao Yisin. Of the two Chinese players, she's the one on the far side with long hair. She's just 18 years of age. Not 19 until next Thursday. Patrick Sang of Hong Kong, our umpire, and Go Si Yang of Malaysia, the service judge. The neutral court officials for this match. As the BWF always try to ensure in these latter stages of tournaments. There's the 18 year old. Not that her partner is old, she's only 21. <laughs> Former World Junior Champion 2007, and in fact, silver medalist the following year at the World Junior Championships. Uh, the first time I remember watching Song Si Sian Sin was last year when she was playing with Ma Jin at the China Open. Reached the final and then conceded a walkover to Cheng Shu and Zhao Yunlei. So there are two previous tournaments together, these youngsters from China. Semi-final at the Asian Badminton Championships in Chengdu. And a quarter-final last week at the China Masters. Well, Japan haven't had finalists at this home tournament since 2009. So Song Sian Sin and Bao Yi Sin of China nearest to us getting this semi-final underway and I can tell you that every single point that the number three seeds uh, Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kakiwa every point they win will be cheered by the home supporters here and a good smash from Song Sian Sin and this young Chinese pair what a tournament they've had First round win over the number two seeds, Mayuki Maeda and Santoko Sutsuna. And of course, were the last Japanese finalists at this Japan Open two years ago. They reached the final. Lost out to Margin and Wen Xiao Li in the final that year. They were beaten by these Chinese youngsters. Well, I said there'd be a loud roar every time that the number three seeds won a point and just to. Prove me right. What a wonderful atmosphere. Surprisingly, first meeting between these two pairs, considering that the Chinese are only playing their third tournament together. Good rally. Unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the smile. 
Which way to right? I think initially surprised that the shuttle just kept coming back and back. Well, hit her as the shuttle was coming down. Oh, oh. It bowed, he said, and therefore a fault, as though the shuttle was going to land way out of court. Oh, that's the inexperience. Shuffle's coming out, you've got to make sure you get way out of the way. sensation earlier this year when they reached the final of the All England with this Japanese combination. and I can see why, having seen that last rally and her stepping forward to kill at the net. In fact, she has enjoyed international success already this year. Oh, he sent. Ah! Yeah, there she is again. And that's when she was playing oh. with Chen Shu. He won the Canadian Grand Prix event, but reached the final in Thailand as well. So back level. committed to that backhand defence. Wasn't much of an area to aim at. Threaded the needle. Well, right time 
idea. Wrong execution. wanted the shuttles shuttle change Japanese said no it's fine umpire agrees with the home players to say in her quarterfinal against Hart and Kim of Korea. And at the moment so far, Kakiwa is playing a blinder. Brilliant. today but my goodness they're making themselves heard great support for the home players should be changed. Five point advantage now. Oh, it's just wide. Right idea. Good judgment. Letting the shuttle 
top line of that back line. Absolutely superb. And not 19 until next Thursday. some Chinese support in this stadium. Impressed with them then, even more impressed now. That's a very, very good smash from. Sian Sin. Yeah. Aiming towards the left hip. Making it very awkward defensively. Oh, 
become a feature of badminton nowadays, disputes amongst the players as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. their composure and Japanese pair because they really should have finished off the rally a little earlier but didn't panic rebuilt the rally kept patience Very nice play from Bao Isin. Anticipation there and the commitment. from taking this opening game. Squeal of delight from Bao Yisin. He's been out 
outstanding so far. And the these youngsters have narrowed the gap to just one solitary point. Seeds from Japan. Good serve. Good defence. And I've done it first time of asking. Mizuki, Fuji, and Marika Kakiwa have got the crowd behind them. They're singing in the aisles at the moment because their pair is a game up. 21 17 in 24 minutes of play. It's the final rally. As virtually every rally, hard fought for, contested so keenly. an awful lot of nodding going on there from the Japanese players obviously coaches and players very much approving of the result of that opening game 21-17 for the number of three seeds well, these youngsters from China have already disposed of Japanese number two seeds Maeda and Suitsuna and yesterday in the quarter-final, disposed of Matsuo and Nato. Both of those pairs seeded. Level play. So, number three seeds, Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kakiwa will know that despite having won this opening game, there's still a large portion of the job to be done. Know the fighting qualities of their opponents.
by Fulci. No holding back, full commitment as she played that winning shot. to their fourth final of the year, of course, this Japanese pet. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh, oh. Saw the gap across court. Pounced on the return so quickly. Kiwa just quite so dominant at the front of the court as she's been so far in this semi-final. Absolutely magnificent. I've been a critic of the Japanese players saying that they've been too defensive at times. And she's really going for it at the net. It really is paying dividends. Here's a game. Just remarkable. Technically so sound as well. Time, but I think she's right to go for it, Kakiwa. of the mark. It was deflected by skimming across the top of the net. There you can see. Just took a little bit of pace out of the shot. Yeah, 
patient from the back. Channel attack down the centre. And again. This is a tough rally. Important rally too. Good defence. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness, she got it back. Great for Kahiwa. Her absolute best. Come on, come on. Five, four. How oh, she reached that last one, let alone controlled it. And I just don't know. Wonderful rally. Probably the longest of the match so far. Especially from Kakiwa at the front of the court. In a run of three straight points. And once again, there's a dispute on into the shuffle. the one that really did the damage. Four straight points to open up a four-point cushion. And a little hand signal behind the back, letting Fuji know where she's going to serve to. Nice and done from Bowie C. Shuffle tumbling, so difficult to control. Sin finding a backhand from nowhere, guiding it across court. Incredible.
no, missed it. Overdone it. First little signs of being over anxious to finish off the rally too quickly. Got to remain patient. advantage has disappeared it's all level once again just taking a moment to recompose the thoughts encouragement Defensive shot that did the damage. Patiently defending, then suddenly the injection of pace on the defence from Kapiwa. And Fuji then start storming forward and make the kill. such a fine line between success and failure trying to intercept at the net once again Bowie sent this time Shovel hitting the top of the table falling back her side a three-point advantage for the number three seeds at the mid-game interval. First the drop shot and then look at the perfect placement of the smash. Right in between the two Chinese players. The outright winner and the advantage midway through the second game. There is a real buzz around the arena. The sense that perhaps 2011 could be the year that Japan finally win a title at the Onyx Japan Open. Plenty of support, there's no question of that. And I'm delighted to say some of the crowd here, some elementary school students from the disaster area. 11, Earthquake and tsunami, of course, caused devastation. There they are. 
Lovely to see them here too. Yeah. Witnessing some badminton of the very highest quality. Judgment. Five point advantage now. What a run of four points to the Japanese pair, and then a run of four points for the Chinese. Now a run of five points from eight all. Definitely going in little runs at the moment. And the run is continuing as far as the Japanese are concerned. She's a star in the making, that's for certain. Which is what's really impressing me about Bao Yisim is her reading of the game, her awareness of where to smash, the placement of the shuttle. in the rally from this lady. Bao Yisin, look at this, guides the shuttle across court, sets herself up. Brilliant, wonderful play. Mm, here we go again, this time the Japanese want the shuttle change and the Chinese say no. Four straight points, Gabao and Chong.
Kaka Dewa. But the technical skill to guide that defensive shot across court is pretty impressive in itself, but the key work equal to it. Again, the shovel being deflected. Oh, the top of the tape. in it. Now come to get the home players going again. on level terms, six points adrift, just a moment ago. Just been seven of the last eight points. Themselves after the trauma and disaster of the earthquake and tsunami, those students from the devastated area. Oh, that was going wide. Mizuki Fuji crouching down low, driving the shuttle back. Man, the utter delight at seeing that go for a winner. that one and now the number three seeds just three points away from a place in the final Hesitation going forward from the Japanese players. And Bao Yusin took full advantage of that.
so good. Again, a dispute about the shuttle. This time the umpire agrees with the Japanese players. Uh, it's all about who's got the character and nerve right now. Just one point the deficit. their minds though just focus on where they're placing the next shuttle that's gone wide all they needed was a good serve on that one it is three match points for the number three seeds from japan Shuffle drop, that's for certain. That took courage to leave that one. I think I would have played it when match point down. No credit to the Chinese youngsters. Still another two match points, of course, for the Japanese pair. It's going wide. My goodness, she took it. has been saved by the Chinese youngsters. My goodness, they had to save two match points yesterday in their quarter-final. But the difference today is the Japanese pair have a third and final opportunity to close it out right now. Fans urging Fuji and Kakiwa on. Two days running, youngsters from China. 
match point saved in the second game yesterday against Matsuo and Noto. Uh, save three match points here. It's 20 all, and we will require extra points until there's a clear two point winning margin. did the damage so now for a fourth time it is a match point to Fuji and Kakiwa silence from the crowd Look, they were both waiting for the power smash therefore vulnerable to the drop shot and the fourth match point has come and gone well they're already over the hour mark because they have really been so positive in these crucial points but having saved four match points now the Chinese pair have a game point themselves Let's 
strong arm. Slight hesitation between the two Chinese players who was going to go for the one at the back of the court. good at the front of the court throughout the contest so far, Reika Kakiwa, but there making the error, perhaps going for the win up when she should have just played the straight block, and now for a second time, it's a game point opportunity to the Chinese. Opportunities they couldn't convert. One day more. And this women's double semi final has gone to a third and deciding game. Well, sheer delight from the Chinese youngsters. <laughs> Sean throwing her racket down in delight. It is one game all. So the question is, what on earth can the coaches say to the Japanese players to lift their spirits? Having had four match point opportunities. 2017 up. 21-20 up in that second game, having won the first. Well, their hearts will have been broken. Well, the question is, do they have the character to fight back after the disappointment? So, Sean Sian Sin and Bao Yixin of China to extend this semi-final. We know, of course, that whoever wins this third and deciding game will have to play against Chen Wen-sing and Chen Yu-chin of Taipei in tomorrow's final. Because they've already beaten Ping and C from Hong Kong. They were first match on this afternoon on one of the adjoining courts.
This is tough, Riley. Well, not really physically grueling that rally. I wonder how much mentally, psychologically, that's going to affect the outcome. And it's a long, hard physical rally like that. It's such a problem to the Japanese pair because having had the opportunities in that second game to close out the match, now. As much as the sports psychologists will be saying, you've just got to forget that and concentrate on the next rally, the job in hand. I can assure you as a player, it's not that simple. They will be going back in their mind to missed opportunities. may be very telling indeed. Japanese players losing patience first, running out of ideas. And there's some taking their time. Change of racket. Desperate times now. The Japanese number three seeds have to stop this run of points from the Chinese youngsters. Opportunity was there. Big swing of the racket. You can see she was off balance. Six one. Six straight points. to stop this run, get themselves back into this deciding game. And it's all run 
running away One. from the home favourites a little too easily here in the decider. 8-1 now. comes to an end. And Fiji and Kakiwa have to capitalize on that error and have to make inroads right now. behind them. the one she's off balance doesn't get set really in the defensive position quickly enough Resistance now from the Japanese number three seeds. And they're still trying to encourage each other. setting in desperation and that just calmly lifted over Mizuki Fuji's head deep into the backcourt the outright winner seven points advantage as the players change ends in this deciding game I suspect we're going to see a lot more this Chinese pair. On one, on a seven. On one, on a seven. But I don't think the Japanese pairs will be wanting to see too much more of these Chinese youngsters. And disposed of the world. Eleven, four, five. Best pairs in from Japan. Three pairs in the top seven in the world rankings from Japan. And this is the second highest Japanese pair, number four in the world. something fairly drastic happens to turn these fortunes around. It's 
Chinese pair are going to take all three sculpts of the top. Japanese three pairs. Ah. Now that might just be the sort of shot that can change the momentum of a match. Absolutely brilliant. Just wide. It's a great smash. And that's the sign of the fatigue. Kazuki Fuji just not reacting on her defense at all. Now, in 20 minutes now, this match has been in progress. Placement out of reach. To believe believe that it's possible there's only four points in it now Still the desire. And that one goes long. So having survived four match points in the second game, now about and Shong have five match points themselves. Good serve. They only needed the one. What a match. Three tough, tough games. But the Chinese youngsters have come back from the brink. They dropped the first game 17 21. They survived four match points in the second before taking it 24 22. And the decider 21 15. Now and 31 minutes. What a semi final! Of course, that breaks the hearts of the Japanese fans here because it means that there'll be no Japanese presence on court in the finals tomorrow, and they'll have to wait another year for the opportunity to win a first ever title for a home player at the Onyx Japan Open. And there once again confirmation of the score 17-21, 24-22, 21-15 in the deciding game. Well the most incredible match and a match that for me will live in my memory for a long time. The courage, the commitment 
And my goodness, what highlights we saw throughout that. Unbelievable match. Right, right up.